Okay, this reading is for Pisces, and today we're asking, who is coming towards Pisces the month of November? Who is coming towards Pisces the month of November? And please like and subscribe, comment if it resonates. Definitely subscribe. Um, <clears throat> I can guarantee you I'm going to end up predicting a lot of things for you guys. It's just... I don't know, I have a huge gift, so please follow me for more. Let's see, I do a lot of warning reads. Sometimes spirit guides give me warnings for you people or um, predictions that, you know, that's really important. Um, so please go ahead and subscribe. Okay, um, Pisces, you have somebody who could be trying to play mind games with you in the month of November or somebody who is just like wants to win at all costs type person. Um, you could be dealing with a Taurus. If not, it could just be a child's mother. Like there could be a lot of drama going on with you and your child's mother or father. Um, <clears throat> yeah, we have your card. We have this water sign with Empress. So it could just be, um, it could be a spouse, like I said, who is kind of playing mind games with you for the month of November. If not, a love from love aside, the Empress is somebody who's very abundant. She's beautiful. She has everything she needs. So that's also a sign that your finances are going to be good for the um, month of November. And you have somebody coming towards you, Pisces, that wants to speak some kind of truth to you. Um, this person, whoever they are, they want to give you equal give and take. And um, if this person is like, was rejecting you, Pisces, in the past... This isn't, this came out reversed, so that lets me know that they're no longer going to be in that mode of, like, guarding themselves and rejecting you. They're going to want to give you equal give and take. And this person, whoever they are, they're a past life soulmate. Um, definitely a past life soulmate when that card comes out. And then we have juggling. So, <clears throat> you could be juggling, or this person could be juggling. It doesn't have to be people. It's just like you see how these boats, these ships in the back are like about to tip over because the storm waters are like really, the waves are really like crashing. Um, you could just be juggling a lot, family, work, all kinds of things at the moment. Yeah, and then we have like the Ten of Cups. So <clears throat> this person who's going to come in could end up bringing you like a family. Like um, the Ten of Cups is like, we have the Ten of Cups and Ten of Pentacles. I like the Ten of Cups because it's like, you guys could be happy without money. This is the type of relationship where you guys could be homeless, but still be so much in love that you don't even notice you're homeless. You know what I'm saying? It's just like complete emotional fulfillment. Yeah. And so then we have the Four of Coins in reverse. We had two Fours in reverse. So if somebody has been rejecting you, kind of holding back, they're going to come out of that energy in the month of November. Yeah, and you're waiting on this person. So whoever this person is that you see as your empress, they, they're they waiting on you and you're waiting on them. Like you're looking out at that little globe, that world globe, and you're waiting. <laughs> but they're waiting for you too. Yeah, and right now this person that you're dealing with is single. Um, they're single, they're abundant, they're the empress. Just like the Knight of Pentacles, she's like an Empress energy in a way because they're both like very beautiful. They have money. They have like really good looks. So um, whoever it is you're dealing with is very good looking too, by the way. Um, but you kind of feel like, okay, I feel like you kind of feel like this person's hiding something from you, kind of being sneaky. Um, especially since they're single, I think that you don't like it. You're probably like, oh, this person, you know, the love of my life or whoever they are is out sneaking around probably in your, in a Pisces mind for their love of their life, um, to be single and away from them is just torture. So if they're out dating or anything like that, you could suspect that they're lying, <laughs> but so, um. They may not even be lying. You may just suspect that. But yeah, you're having a lot of anxiety about this person, whoever they are, Pisces. Um, maybe it's because they're at a distance from you, so you don't really know what they're doing because you're not able to, like, be physically with them or near them. 
So you're having anxiety that they're like out sneaking and doing stuff because they're single. It could be an Aries you're dealing with. Um, this person though, whoever they are, because we have the emperor and the empress. So like I said, um, it's a pair. You guys are a pair. You guys are a past life soulmate. Um, and you have a lot of anxiety about this person because you know that they're, they're your twin flame. Like, I'm picking up on that twin flame energy big time. Yeah. And they live at a distance from you. Um, and you want to kind of like try. I feel like you want to travel to where they're at. Um, <clears throat> or you want to start like a new cycle with them. But you have been working really hard. Um, you may start in the month of November since the, it, the person was coming out of their, you know, like not rejecting you or holding back anymore. They may move into a cycle of wanting to work things out between you guys. Yeah. And they are watching you. So just know that if you have social media, they're spying on you, Pisces. They're watching you. Um, they want to come in with quick, fast communication. Yeah. This person, um, whoever they are, what they're not telling you, Pisces, is that they're in despair. Um, something's happened between the two of you. You see these three cups. They're still focused on what happened between the two of you instead of the two of cups behind them. So if they're kind of like acting like they're single, living the best life, they're not. They're like, they could be. I mean, I'm not saying they're not living their best life, but I'm telling you that they're hurt. They're hurting over you. Yeah. And then we have the Pisces card. So wait, this could be you. Yeah. It could be you, or you could just be dealing with another Pisces, but uh, this is also your energy I'm picking up on. You're, like, waiting for this person, like the seeds you've planted in the past with them. You're kind of being quiet, um, but you're also in despair. You're, you're in a lot of despair over this person. Yeah, and you feel like, I think you feel like it's just kind of time to walk away from them. Let's see, what do we have? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I get it. You are ready to just kind of walk away and put the burden down and, and just leave it up to fate. The Wheel of Fortune is the divine timing card. So I feel like what you're doing, Pisces, is you know that this person is your person. You know, you feel it within every part of your being. You know that they're your twin flame, but they're, they live at a distance from you and you know they're single and you know there's nothing you can really do about it from where you're at. So what you're doing is you're just going to walk away and you're going to leave it up to God. You're going to leave it up to divine timing and up to destiny. Because this is a destiny card. And I can see clear as day what you're about to do. You're going to walk away and you're going to let um, the divine take over. Because <laughs> you're going to, you kind of have this mindset that you're like, well, if we're meant to be, it'll happen. So that's what you're going to do. You're going to walk away and you're just going to leave this person. Um, so that's what I have for the month of November. If you would like a personal reading, those are only $8. It's in the description how to contact me with my email. Um, I can tell you more there about your twin flame. And be more personal. These I'm picking up on thousands of people on here. So it's more personal when you get your own reading. Let's see. Okay. I want you guys to Google these angel numbers, 431. So Google no, angel number 431. You're going to have a message there. And then these are some signs that could be coming into your energy in the month of November. So we have Leo, Virgo, Virgo, and Sagittarius. So those could be of significance to you in the month of November or even now. So have a good one and thank you for watching. Please subscribe, Pisces.